Unraveling the Mystery of Cowcatcher. Hello, dear friends and language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to explore a rather interesting phrase in the English language, cowcatcher. This term might conjure up images of ranch life or a cowboy in action, but its meaning might surprise you. So, buckle up as we dive into the history, usage, and context of this phrase. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about quirky English terms, you're in the right place. Let's start with the basics. A cowcatcher is not about catching cows in the traditional sense. Instead, it refers to a device found at the front of trains. The official name for this contraption is a pilot or pilot plow, but cowcatcher became the popular term because of its intended purpose. To clear the tracks of obstacles, which in the early days of rail travel, quite often included livestock. The design of a cowcatcher is typically V-shaped and mounted at the train's front, angled forward. This shape allows the device to effectively deflect objects on the tracks away from the wheels of the train, preventing derailment and damage. It's an essential safety feature, especially in rural areas where animals wandering onto the tracks can be a common occurrence. Historically, the advent of the railroad in the 19th century was a time of great innovation and expansion. The cowcatcher played a critical role in the efficient and safer operation of trains, which helped to settle and develop vast areas, especially in the American West. The term itself is a nod to the intersection of technology and the untamed landscape of the time. Beyond its literal sense, cowcatcher, has taken on a figurative life in various contexts. It's used to represent anything that serves as a preemptive measure against potential problems or obstacles. For example, a new policy designed to prevent issues before they arise could be considered a type of cowcatcher for an organization. There you have it, a complete roundup on the term cowcatcher. We've traveled from its practical role on the front lines of train travel to its metaphorical use in everyday language. I hope this has been an enlightening journey and that you now have a new English phrase to enrich your vocabulary. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to exploring more fascinating phrases with you. Keep learning, and see you next time.